What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. Um, this morning I watched the interview between Pat Davidson and Paul Pogba, or Pat Davidson and Paul Pogba on Sky Sports. Um, and it was a really good interview. I saw that it was, um, there was a few quotes on Twitter last night and I was really intrigued to watch it. So this morning, um, checked it out. And I must say, um, I haven't been Pogba's biggest fan just because of everything that's went down. Um, mostly regarding Mino Raiola and the entourage talking absolute shit all the time um, but when it comes to Pogba it's I've never had anything against him personally and um, seems like a really nice guy seems very very um, fun very happy and um, very focused he seems like a, a top professional but um, I've always had issues with what people are saying like his team and um, and stuff like that so that was always my main issue Listening to that interview this morning, um, it just made me kind of feel really happy in a way, but then obviously sad at the same time because, of course, we know that he's most likely going to be leaving in the summer. Um, but the way he's playing, he's playing really well. You know, Paul Pogba is a great player for our team. He is. Um, and whether people like to admit it or not, a, a, an unformed Paul Pogba is a very good player and any team would want him but um he ended the the video he ended the interview with with basically a quote saying that um he focuses on the people who love him and like him and the people who are um who are what's the word who are influenced by him and improve by him and you know and he said that that's what he focuses on. He doesn't focus on the people who don't like him, the people that don't like his haircuts, the people that don't like the way he is. Um, and those people make him want to do better. So he then changes them and makes them actually like him. Basically flip-flops, kind of like me <laughs> right now. Because when I was watching the interview, I couldn't help but smile and laugh and listen and, and enjoy um, and enjoy everything he had to say. Um, Pat Davison did post on Twitter last night saying, uh, obviously don't quote me on this, but basically he said, if Paul Pogba did more interviews, he thinks that Man United fans would feel differently towards him. Um, and obviously about his manager, or Mino Raiola. Don't like mentioning him too much. Um, but he said that, you know, he's basically he's such a nice guy and he loves the club. And you can see that from the interview, you really can I really did enjoy the interview and it made me think, Jesus, like the things that I've I've had angry rants about Paul Pogba, not him as a person, not really his performances, but always about his entourage and about Mina Riola. It's always them. It's always those guys that are actually the ones tarnishing his name and, and you know, making people angry, making fans mad over what they have said, not what really Paul Pogba has done. Now, I understand people who say, oh, no, he's, he should be better. He should be doing better. I've said it. I've said it. I will critique his game if he's not having a good performance or a few games or if he does bad things in a game. Yeah, I'll say it because I'm watching a match. I'm entitled to say what I want about what they're doing during the match. Um, but outside of that, you can't really say anything else. Um, so, yeah, it just made me feel like his end quote made me really think that, oh God, he's actually making me feel like I do love him. I do really want him to stay. And I do. I would. I would love Paul Pogba to stay once he's rid of the virus, which is Mina Riola. And um, this isn't a rant. This is kind of a happy video uh, about Paul Pogba and how, you know, he really did watching him and listening to him not only did I love his accent and the way he spoke I just thought he's so you know listen to him he's talking about the the Sir Alex time um, and why he came back to Manchester and you know he wants to win and and he, he spoke about um not be not playing being on the bench he said he's just he hates being on the bench he doesn't like it it's not good because he wants to help his team and if he's on the bench he can't do that and he feels that he's letting his team down by not being able to help them. Like, listening to things like that, it was just music to my ears. I don't know about you. Um, but it really has made me think, you know, the issue that I have with Paul Pogba is is actually with Mina Riola. That's my issue. Um, I don't have a problem with Paul Pogba. And the way he's playing right now, 
it's very good it's enjoyable the goal he scored the other day was absolutely brilliant such a good goal yes it took a little deflection but the shot is on target when you have a shot on target you're always running a risk of having it deflected whether it deflects and goes in over the bar anything you, if you don't shoot you don't score as the great Michael Hone once said um do you know what I mean so yeah I just thought when I watched the interview I felt really good about it um, and I want to know your thoughts on it as well. So if you haven't watched it, check it out on Sky Sports um, YouTube channel. That's how I watched it. Let me know your thoughts um, if you have watched it. Um, obviously, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Drop a like on the video. And I will see you on Sunday for the match. It is going to be a massive one. We play Liverpool. We're top. We're three points ahead. And it is going to be insane. It's going to be such a mad game. And I really feel that we can get something from it. So make sure you check out my channel on Sunday and I will talk to you then.